Welcome to part 11, which is adding multiplayer shooting. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to make the bullet uh, network aware. So add a network identity and transform. So I'll add this transform, and that automatically puts in the identity. No need to check anything. Set the send rate down to zero, though. Uh, this thing is only going to be flying in one direction. It isn't able to change its direction, so there's no need to uh, sync actively sync its position or anything like that. Now next we need to actually uh, register this network object with the network manager. Uh, so if you go here into the registered spawnable prefabs, add a entry and drag in the bullet. So now we can actually spawn this across the network. Now I need to edit the player controller script. So currently this fire command uh, is only happening on the local player, but it now it really needs to be called on the server, and then the server is the one who should run these instructions and spawn the bullet with this velocity attached to it, so then it'll fly on the uh, other clients in the game. So to achieve that, we need a command. So this, we have to change this. So add an attribute here, command, and the method must have CMD, exactly like this. CMD must be written there to be recognized by this network system. You have to write it like that. Okay, and what is this saying? It's basically saying that only the, and another thing, only the local player can run this command anyway. Only a local player can send the command to the server. And it's saying to the server, run this method on this player instance in the server. So this code will execute. And now I need to, before the destroy command, I need to spawn that bullet. Spawn the bullet on the clients. So network server dot spawn bullet. Okay. And it is important to apply the velocity before doing the network server spawn. So the exact characteristics, whatever we do to the bullet here, is what it will be like on the server when it is spawned. And now once the server spawns the bullet, uh, it will be created on all of the clients. And because we have the network transform component on the bullet, so then it will also have the uh, velocity applied to it as well, and it will start flying. So let's see that in action. Okay. So that's the host. Here's the client. All right, so I can see the bullets flying. Now, when I shoot at the other player, it, the bullets just bounce off. So we need another script that just will remove the bullets when there's a collision. So let's just do that. So make a new script and call it bullet. OK, and then I'll add void on collision enter. This is a unity method, so you have to write it exactly. And destroy game object. So now when the uh, spheres hit something, they'll get destroyed. And since it's a networked object, the bullet is now a networked object, the network manager is managing it. So uh, when it gets destroyed on the server, it'll be automatically removed on the clients as well. So let's see that. Join in as a client, move a bit. Oh, and of course, I need to attach the script. Silly me, one moment. So go to the bullet and attach the bullet script. OK, build and run. Jump in. Okay, join with the client. And there we go. When we shoot at the uh, other player, the bullets hit against something, and they're just getting destroyed, which is good. Okay, so next video, we'll bring in health.